Hello, and welcome to the GRACE podcast series. My name is Denise Brock, and I am the Operations Director for the Global Resource for Advancing Cancer Education, or GRACE. In this podcast series, we interview patients, advocates, and healthcare professionals to provide the most updated information for our community and to highlight important issues facing those dealing with a cancer diagnosis. We hope you find this information valuable. For questions or comments, please visit us at cancergrace.org. First question uh, is the uh, opinions and experience on the use of double dose osimertinib um, for crossing broad brain barrier in patients with progression on single dose. Yeah, so this is the rationale being that you can increase the uh, penetrance of the drug into the brain. This has been explored in multiple trials. It is, we don't have great data to suggest that it overcomes resistance specifically in that setting, but it's something that we commonly do. So I think it's worth trying if there are no uh, alternatives. Long treated patient, um, long time on Tarceva, then, uh, excuse me, erlotinib, then osimertinib, cancer progressing, starting chemo. Is it worth getting biopsy prior to starting? Obviously, this is very personalized to uh, the individual situation, the risk of the biopsy values of patient. But to the more general question, um, will, could, it be po- could it be possible that a biopsy either now or later can help in a heavily pretreated patient? The quick answer is yes, it's possible and it's something that should be discussed with the doctor. Comment here that liquid should be back in uh, three or four days. Absolutely, no one here is gonna argue with that. It can and with, um, when everything is done right, it actually um, can. We discussed this one, a comment um, about payment. Um, that uh, Medicare doesn't pay for non-generic uh, treatments and that treatments can be extremely expensive. Um, my God, is this a massive issue in the real world? Our treatments keep getting more and more expensive. Um, I don't know the answer to this. Um, the person asking this is actually a fin- financial planner. I can't balance a checkbook, so you probably know much more about it than I and perhaps my panelists do, except to endorse it's a really big problem Um, And many of us have financial um, counselors um, and aggressively seek what financial help is possible. But yes, it remains a massive issue. And I don't know the answer. I'm guessing my panelists don't either. No, only to say that it's equally distressing for us when we know that there's an excellent therapy out there. But for cost reasons and the way the companies have priced drugs or insurance, our patients can't get it in time. Thank you again for joining us. This podcast was made possible by the generosity of sponsorship from our friends at Lilly and Exalexis. Please like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Send us feedback, share your story, donate, and visit us for more information at cancergrace.org. Thank you for listening.